Good morning, everyone. Well, last night's True Blood was called Run. If you remember, Elsie was running through the woods with Sookie in his arms. Bill comes running by at super speed and takes her out of his arms and runs to, runs to the house. Her place. <coughs> Feeds uh, Sookie his blood which she was not receptive to because she was nearly dead. But it, she, apparently she got some of the blood into her system and she was better. And as soon as she woke up, she was looking for Eric. She wanted to know where Eric was. They didn't know where he was. But he had been taken over by the witch and was now a puppet to Antonio. And she's keeping him at Marnie's store there. Along with all of her followers, they are now locked in the store with her because lots, some of them said, hey, I, I want out. She said, no, everyone's staying. She's locked the doors, and if you touch the door, Nobby get burned. And uh, Jessica, well, Sam's taken his new girlfriend and the kid off camping to stay away from the husband. And, uh, Jessica's telling her all her woes to the head of the BLA. And <laughs> she's being pretty snide about it, about listening to her. And, uh, Bill shows up. They're all now. They're all chained up in silver down below at the bottom of Bill's place. Uh, Jessica, head of the VLA, and, and uh, Eric and uh, Bill. And Bill and her uh, are arguing whose fault it is. All of these goings on that. She's wishing the queen was back in, in power so because she wouldn't have let it get this far. And she would have killed Eric when she was told to. But she, you know, by all rights, it kind of was Bill's fault. He let Eric go. Uh, now, it's a real cool thing with Lafayette. First, I thought it was kind of lame, but Lafayette's taken over by this... Uh, black woman's ghost, right? She's looking for a baby. And then there's a big, uh, like, shootout. She, she thinks she lives in the Hoyt's house, so she's taken over Hoyt's house with Andy's gun, and she got the baby. And there's a big shootout there. She's just looking for her baby. So Jesus, uh, Lafayette's boyfriend, he shows up. They go, he goes in and talks to her says, I realize something's going on because he kind of knows about magic and all that stuff and that the ghost is inside Lafayette. And explains to her, you know, you've got a penis. You can't be a young lady who just had a baby if you, you know, have a penis. So she checks and she does. So she figures that she's done what everyone, that this Jesus is saying. And Jesus, uh, has her go back in memory, figure out where the baby is, and they go dig up the baby. She puts the the, the corpse of the, the bones of the baby in, in Lafayette's arms, and big orange light comes up, and the ghost comes out of Lafayette. And, uh, that's I think that's the end of her. I think that's the last we'll see of her, unless she has something to do with getting rid of this damn witch. And. Uh, now, Suki's having this really hot dream where she's in this dread negligee thing. And she's talking to Eric and Bill about uh, why can't she have two lovers? Why can't she love both of them equally? And uh, they're both sitting on the couch and she takes off this negligee thing. She's got this red pussy her uh, panties on. She goes to sit between the two of them, both of them uh, climb down onto her neck, right? She wakes up, naturally. Now, 
Sam, he's gone home. He went home right away in the beginning with Debbie to see Debbie. Debbie's gone out and gotten some V. You think she's going over to have it out with Sookie, but she shows up with flowers and they sit there and they talk. And Sookie talks her into helping her out with something, right? And uh, she does. And they go, they go to Marty's shop. And uh, Snooky, while, while the Debbie keeps Antonia busy uh, with saying that the werewolves will help her out, Sookie gets into the shop and goes and sees Eric and sees that Eric's been taken over by a spell. Now, meantime, they're having this big tolerance rally that Bill and the head of VLA are at. And uh, Antonio is going to go there and cause a big scene and kill a bunch of people using Eric and three other vampires, the, uh, the other uh, sheriff vampires of Louisiana. They, they all get killed at this rally with Antonio's spell over uh, not only Eric, but now the three other sheriffs. And... Uh, there's all kinds of running around and people are running for their lives and Sookie comes running in and the last thing she yells to uh, Bill is run and uh, that's the end of uh, last night's episode uh, I'll thank you all for your participation catch you back on it soon have a good week huh?